Hello everyone, Epsilon9 here, and I'm playing Let It Die. Yes, I got the face cam going, I'm speaking from the diaphragm, you can tell today's a special occasion. Here's hoping my luck keeps up, and uh... Yeah. Here's hoping everything records properly. Uh, just until you can barely see the image, that's good enough for me. Oh, we got a little, we got a little skateboarding reaper. I've been looking forward to this, I love grasshopper stuff. Suda51 apparently hasn't made a lot of the Grasshopper games for a while now. In the year 2026 AD, the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance occurred around the world, splitting the That's Earth a pretty into good four name, Earth terrestrial Rage. masses. That's a good name for a band. Domination, war, disaster, and famine broke out in the Four Lands, and mankind fell into disarray. In the center of the world, a single tower rose steeply into the sky. It was a great structure looking down upon the earth from the heavens above. This sounds like the setup for Devil May Cry 3. People believed that it held the key to the future. It became known as the Tower of Barbs, a place at which one could come closest to God. Doing a little jig in the background. I actually would have recorded this earlier, but there were some issues with my PlayStation account. I'll get into that at a later time. Right now we're only doing the first impressions. So since this is the first time I'm loading it up, I'm going to die a lot. I have some experience with uh, Souls games, but not too much. It's just one of those things where you have to practice in order to get good. And what I was getting from it wasn't enough to keep incentivizing me to keep practicing. But this has a lot more sense of humor to it, and it's very meta, so more than likely I'll just keep playing it. Hmm. Another new arrival. Hi. Looks like things are about to get busy around here. I'd like to get busy around her, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, seriously, I'm sure there's uh, better waifu material in this game. It's a Grasshopper Suda51 game. I don't care if Suda51 only had, like, a little bit. Hell, even if he didn't have any input on this at all, Grasshopper's very good at emulating his style. A lot of corpses here. Gender, gender. Why not? Hmm. 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 Let's go for you. <laughs> right on. I stand up from sitting on the subway like that, too. I shall call her Terry Bell. She wanted to become a female pro wrestler. Look at her now. Senpai! I was waiting for you. This is your first time riding Line 15, huh? I know, it's not a very well-known lie, I admit. Anyway, this is the last stop. You are so happy. Anything that has a personification of death as a character is automatically a good thing. I dare you to prove me wrong. Hey, you want to talk to me? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk. Talk it. Along. Did you want to talk to me or not? Oh, hey, crouching. Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Here, take this. It's called an underwater Rolodex. Oh dear, phone's cool. ringing. Gonna cut this part out. I forgot to mention my name is Uncle Death. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm back. Hope I didn't miss anything. That was my mother calling me. Clearly, we cannot go that way. We need to go this way. Ekegara, the Iki, Eke, Iki, Ikegara area. Did you know that escalators can't break? They can merely become stairs. I heard that somewhere. Wish I could take credit for it. I kind of wish it was viable to keep her dressed like this the entire game. She is fine. Hey, Senpai! It's me! Here, as all the cookies call it, is a smartphone. I'll be keeping in touch. I don't play the PlayStation 4 much. That is the first time my controller's ever spoken to me. That was a barbed wire balloon. Uh, thank you for playing Let It Die on the Death Drive 128. Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, learned all that. Learned all that by the hard way. Oh, the easier way. Eh. Uh, you can open the Underworld Rolodex from the Options menu. Options is that button. Button? Button. Yeah. Where is she keeping that? I'm legitimately asking. I'd like to know. I have some ideas, but I want you to say it. Is this? This is nothing. It's a sewer. Yeah, let's go. Your first enemy is up ahead. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to edit the sound out of that. <laughs> What's your story? Go ahead, Senpai. There are three levels of punches. <laughs> if your heart rate gets too high, it's time to get you some. Knock his block off! Oh, yeah! Iron Hammer. Okay, uh, how do I pick it up? Hmm. Oh. Alright. Silly me. Yeah, you don't have anything. Eh. That is too slow for a proper tea bag. Another bald wire balloon. 99 barbed wire balloons. Uh, equipment types include weapons which may be equipped on the right, left, or both hands, and three types of armor, head, upper body, and lower body. Hmm. Uh, durability. Every piece of equipment has durability, which decreases each time it is used. When the durability reaches zero, the equipment will break, so be careful. One and two-handed weapons are... There are single hand weapons, which you can equip in each hand, blah blah blah. Death bags. You can store and carry the various items you find in the tower in your death bag. Okay, you could probably just as easily call it a backpack. Uh-huh. 
Uh, about weapon quick change, both the left and right arm have three weapon slots. Use the directional buttons to quickly switch between weapons equipped in these slots. Like that! Seriously, is there a way to turn that off, make the sound come exclusively into the headset? Almost, I walked right past that. Uh, rage moves, excellent! In this game, you can unleash rage moves techniques which are stronger than regular attacks. If you use these effectively, you will have an advantage in battle. Fantastic. Each time you deal damage to an enemy, your rage will build. This will increase in level until it reaches the maximum. When the rage gauge is full, that's a fantastic name. Hold triangle as you attack to unleash a powerful rage move with your equipped weapon. Hmm. Hello. Anybody want to die? It's go time. Now's the time to let out all that. Hey, you got a gun? Come here! Give me that gun! Oh! That would have been a lot cooler if I knew how to do that earlier. Let's see here. Trucker pants. Really? Alright, not bad. Not bad. Options. Let's see, what was it? That's something. Uh, under death bag. That's better than nothing. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like the kind of lady I'd like to spend time with. Maybe not necessarily take home to mom. Because she might eat her. Epsilon, what do you mean by that? Uh, context. Eating mushrooms. You will encounter various types of mushroom in this game. They know how to pluralize mushroom. I appreciate that. They have many uses, but here we'll explain their role as a food item. Eating growing, eating growing mushrooms. When you draw close to a mushroom, you can consume it quickly by selecting the eat icon, which will be displayed. Eating mushrooms in your bag. When you put mushrooms in your death bag, they will be displayed in the flick box at the bottom right of the screen. Flick on the mushroom you want to eat with the touchpad and eat it by clicking the right side of the touchpad button. Hmm. Mushroom effects. Not all mushrooms are beneficial to the player. Some mushrooms contain poison that can result in death, so be careful. Who's that red-headed individual there? I feel like I should know him. Was he introduced in the No More Heroes? Because that... Thank you. Was he introduced in the No More Heroes games? Because I was not, uh... I did not play that. Yoga healing. Hmm. Suppose I can just put that in my bag for the time being. I'm actually pretty decent on health. 99 blue balloons. Gear elements. There are six types of equipment. Slashing, blunt, piercing, fire, lightning, and poison! You can hold up to two types of weapon at the same time. It's important to pay attention to the type of armor the enemy is wearing and manage your weapons accordingly. Armor has a defense value that varies with the type. It's important to pay attention to the enemy's weapon and switch accordingly. Hmm. Cat hush! That's a kick it open! Ooh. Crossbow. Nope. 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 Mm. 
Oh yes, I see what I see what it is. Okay. I will also take this and put this in the bag. That was gonna take some walking to get used to these controls. But practice makes perfect after all. Hi, um, um wanna give me some of those mushrooms? I got, I got a mushroom for you. Oh, wait, I'm playing as a lady. I do not have a mushroom. Well, actually, I do, but not the kind I was referring to. Innuendo! Okay. Hey, one sec. Hey, wanna be on camera? Hey. Cat cam. Cat cam. Hey, you hate that, don't you? Gonna have to read that tutorial later. <laughs> Missed it. Unless it's in the... Wait. Nope. Yeah. I'm incompetent. That's the Uncle Death, Kawako Seto, Majin, Captain Yotsuyama. Uh, release bonus. The following items have been distributed as a reward for this event. One death medal, please collect from the rewards box. Present. PSX 2016, thank you for your visit. The following items have been distributed as a reward for this event. Three death medals. Thank you for playing Let It Die. This is Captain Yotsuyama. There you go, so he's... Hmm. Maybe he's just, maybe he's been a bit other games. Uh, from the Yotsu... From the Yotsuyama... Yotsuyama Enterprises Management Team, your login bonus for today has been sent to your rewards box. Fantastic. Uh, Majin. Oh, God, what a nerd. Kiwako. Ah, that's what she was. Uncle Death! My man! Uh, let's see here. Mastery level. I see. Play log. Fighter data. Quest list accepted. I've accepted no quests. Mushroom collection. With a turquoise cap, this mushroom aids the user's concentration. It spread from India to the island of South Tokyo. Meaty and tasty. Should meaty be an appropriate term to describe a mushroom? That's a legitimate question. That's a sincere question. Stamp rally memories. Uh, Barb's Bible. Ah, throwing mushrooms, that's what I missed out on. You will encounter both mushrooms and beasts in this game. Let's look at how to throw mushrooms. Mushroom throw. Choose a mushroom you wish to throw by flicking the touchpad to select one. Click the left side of the touchpad button to switch to throw mode. In this mode, you can throw mushrooms by pressing X. Hmm. Okay. Close. Don't know why you would switch to square being the throw button, but whatever. Feeling pretty pumped now, huh? Good thing it wasn't poisonous. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm kind of happy I did. Okay. Let's see now. Uh... Nope! Damn! Oh my lord. Alright. I'm trying to swipe! Not working too easily. Hi, thank you. Now, can we please throw mushroom? Please. Hmm. There we go. Ain't you a fiery spirit? Ha ha, damn! Oh yeah, that's hot! Is anyone else turned on? I told you there was better waifu material in this game! Ha! Ah. Come back, Mushroom Girl! Vomit all over me! Read that letter. Gortastic attack! 
When you make an enemy groggy, that's when you can unleash a Gortastic Coup de Gras. These moves are so awesomely brutal, you might even want to cover your eyes. Make an enemy groggy. By unleashing a continuous barrage of attacks on the enemy, you can make them groggy. Of course, this can happen to your character as well, so take care. Using Gortastic. By approaching an enemy in a groggy state, holding triangle and pressing an attack button, a Gortastic attack will activate depending on the weapon used. Gortastic Experience. If you defeat an enemy using a Gortastic attack, you will receive more rewards than usual. Don't hold back now! Wasn't the triangle for the rage attack, or am I misremembering that? Did we come back this way? Oh my goodness. You got his tongue hanging out? Oh damn, where'd you come from? Kill each other for me! Dodge it, woman! Hot damn! get killed in a cutscene. Was that a phone call I hear? I think I called it. Uncle Death loves me, but not enough to save me. Okay. Wanna try again? Oh wait. Please. Let me put the title logo up real quick. You know how these things go. Woohoo! Let it die. The skateboarding and the tricks were totally necessary. If you disagree, you're wrong. Well, interruptions aside, I think this video turned out pretty well, don't you? I'm gonna keep recording until I find a safe spot and then, uh... Well, then I'll save you. I'll see you guys in the next episode. This game took three hours to download. System. Let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders of the Tower of Barbs. The Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island of South Tokyo. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance of 2026. The tower stands at 1686 feet, the equivalent of a 30-story building with super high ceilings. Many say hmm. that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, Many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. However, none have managed to survive the tower's horrific trials. And thus, the tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb of the tower.
and I'm sure I will wonders that it has to offer I'm calling it right now as well I'm gonna wind up finding out what the treasure is before I get there myself the hell ah finally waking up you seem sleepy so I turned it off huh I'm talking about the Death Drive 128, of course, man. You were just playing it, remember? <laughs> hey, pretty This cool, game huh? is so meta, I love it. <laughs> it's the best game console ever, and this game, let it die. It's probably the greatest game ever made. Yeah! The goal of the game is pretty simple. Just make it to the top of the Tower of Barbs. It's like a hack and slash roguelike kind of a thing. What the ha! Hey, dude, you're a gamer, aren't you? Then you'll totally be fine. Just try it out. I'll set it up for you. Does anyone else like Uncle okay, Death? I like go. Uncle Death. Let's get started. I'll start the game. So that beetle just stood up on its hind legs and started projecting a hologram. That doesn't even make it in the top ten of the weirdest things I've seen in a grasshopper game. I wonder if that's going to be in sync with the uh, webcam. Nice retro graphics, though. Like the kind of stuff you'd see on the Amiga. Gameplay recording pause because you entered a blocked scene. Go F yourself, Sony! Ha! Yeah. Let's see here, uh... Hmm. What the devil is this going on here? TDM Raid Fest participate to win prizes weekly. What the hell? Uh, hmm. Startup service, welcome to Let It Die. Our store will be available in the coming days, so please stay tuned. Hmm. Uh, log in every day. Be sure to log in every day to pick up some awesome gifts. Uh, maintenance complete, maintenance complete, maintenance complete. Hello, thank you. Game startle. Hmm. 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 Well, we went for a lady last time, so we're gonna go for a lady this time as well. Hmm. Oh, hey oh, hey oh, hey oh, hey oh. Ooh, I like that hairstyle. I do like that hairstyle. Mm. She kind of reminds me of Curie from Fallout 4. There's a lot of good companions in Fallout 4. It's a shame everyone hates it. Mm -hmm. I'm almost naked. That's hot. Is there a sprint function in this? Hmm. Hmm. Uh! Yes, there is. There is indeed a sprint function. There's a hole here, but it's gone now. So that's a thing. Read, read it, read it. Uh, waiting room. The hub of your adventure. This is the waiting room of the station Bottom of Barbs. The last stop of 
Line 15, situated under the tower barbs, this room contains many interesting features. Just what are you waiting for, you ask? <clears throat> Excuse me. Perhaps the question should be, what is waiting for you? Uh, quit game. When you want to quit playing, please select back to title from the options menu when you're in the waiting room. If you quit the game outside the waiting room, it will be treated as a death, so please be careful. I see. I see. La de ta, la ti ta. La de ta di da di ta. That's the restroom for men. It's the restroom for ladies. Let's be a little bit naughty. Ha 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 ha! Fantastic! I like it. Shark week. As always, the ladies' restroom is much cleaner than the men's. <gasps> uh, Mushroom Club. The shop o opens after you rescue the Mushroom Magistrate, the owner of the shop. They will deal with skill decals formed from mushroom powder. What are skill decals? Attached decals to a fighter's body will benefit... Attaching decals will benefit the player with various effects. There are many designs and functions. Once a decal is attached, if the fighter dies or if the decal is removed, it will disappear. Uh, you can buy skill decals by using kill coins. You can sell skill decals in your possession. Since you can't get rid of them, you may as well sell those you have no use for. Uh, trading. If you bring the bronze skill shroom, silver skill shroom, or gold skill shroom the magistrate is seeking to the store, she will trade them for skill decals. Mushroom stew. Mm. I can't remember the last time I had a burrito. <laughs> Vintage. You can spend skill coins to drink some mushroom stew, which the mushroom magistrate has put her heart into making. As a bonus, a premium decal is always inside. Those decals are different to standard ones. They will not disappear if the fighter, if the fighter they are attached to is killed. Hmm. That's not phallic in the least. Hi, how are you? Oh, oh, how I've been waiting for you, fellow believer, in the power of mushrooms. The secret of my success. The secret of my um, success. The secret of my success. <laughs> I'm uh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get some mushrooms in real life and. The secret uh, of my success. The secret of my success. The secret of my success. I'm gonna. I'm gonna enjoy the scene for a little bit. I'll see you guys in the next episode.